Welcome to Extreme Boating, recorded here on St. Lucia History Beaches by Pietrus Viviers. Time to cycle through. That's Wayne Puff Dancer moving on to the launch pad. And Maverick turns a little bit as Wiseman pushes him over the lip, over the ledge, into the channel. There's now two channels at the estuary. This morning it looks like one. There's this northern channel where Maverick is floating in now and the southern channel that's the one exiting into the ocean the history in exiting into the ocean so let's just move you guys a little bit more that way and then i can concentrate a little bit more on the boating video yes guys those those that's watching the extreme boating video and that doesn't understand my narration i'm doing two video feeds here yeah? one for the extreme boating channel and one for the live feed Maverick is lining himself up to get on the other side of the channel that is sitting into the ocean and we've got Free Spirit 1 arriving that's Stella being pushed let's see what the angle your hike is going to take still spraying a rooster tail there using the motor strim height to push away from the the shallow water, the current is pushing him right onto the side again. Again, he must watch his rear view mirror, he's gonna land onto the, onto the shallow waters there very soon now. Very skilled skipper, basically grew up on this in the surf here, like most of us that grew up here in St. Lucia. But yeah, so far the lineup is of very skilled skippers. We're not going to have that much action. What's Joanke doing? He's going to run into the history mouth as well. It's a big wave to, to negotiate there, Joanke. I wish I could have been on that boat making that video. Helen got off, Johanke got his jacket out, Johanke is getting off. Maverick is doing the same thing. Josh is doing something at the motors, one motor's cowling is all. Okay, that's what's happening there. Okay, that's Wave Dancer that's now in the estuary in, uh, in the, the, uh, the southern channel. Maverick and Stella is lining themselves up in the back there. I know for the fact that they don't have radio communication so they, they can't make them part of the lineup again they took themselves out of the lineup now to get back into the lineup normally was there some confusion here yeah? because they don't use the radios to communicate leon is on the power to 204 strokes on the back of a 950 sport fisher butt cat Leon is full of confidence, he's done this many times. He's going north. Ugh. Right into the sun there. Actually I must take this camera off the monopod. It's not serving me well on the monopod. That's the way I'm doing this video I have to get this 
ahead. I have to go through the IP stage. Here you go. Now I can see what the boat is doing and what my focus is doing. Guys, you, the life guys is not gonna much more than what they see at the moment. I'm gonna concentrate on the extreme boating video. Could he put it? It's got his line ready. It's flying positive power there. He's moving, moving towards the estuary mouth. Running the two 200s hard there on the back of the 850 carry cat. Using the speed to get into the gap. Well chosen, Walter. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Absolute a fantastic launch. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Caught the tail end of Dreamcatcher launching there. What line is Dreamcatcher going to take? Is going to take the same line as, as Walter or is he going to move north like Leon? That's going to be interesting. One of the boats that's got more history mouth launching experience here than most of the other skippers that has gone out so far today small boat normally, normally gives me some nice action photos with spray overs and it's a wet deck boat it's designed to do that it's a yacht cat powerful yacht cat look at that eh? it's a lot of power behind that small little boat Keep that focal distance, Beatrice, and don't change it. Look at how beautiful everything is in focus. Just keep it going. Dreamcatcher is going northeast, running a little bit more north. This angle is quite perfect in the channel. This oh, look at those big waves! Where did they come from? All the way from Madagascar, and he runs right into a gap. Well done. Just look at that line. He took the right line out of the estuary mouth and it took him right into the ocean, right through a gap. Well done. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. He didn't sort out his engine problems. Stella is lining up to exit the estuary mouth to 154 strokes Suzuki's with counter rotating props on the back of the boat. It makes the boat run much more stable than if you don't have counter rotating props. So I maintain guys, even though if you've got the smaller engines, I believe the function is available on most of the new four strokes. To change the gearboxes, spend that little extra money, even if you have to, oh, look at that boat fly. Even if you have to spend a, take a smaller motor to afford the counter rotating props, it's absolutely worth the while. Look how stable, Yoanki got the gap perfect as well. Well done. Happy hunting, enjoy the day.